So in 2007, when we got the 7T, it was one of the few in the world. So there was a handful of, of seven Tesla machines worldwide. It is not a plug and play machine like the clinical machines 1.53 Tesla, where you sit in front of it, you start it and you get a beautiful image. And that's why we had to invest a lot of research, a lot of physicists were working on the machine to get the best out of it, to make it work like it's working now. I'm really working since uh, the day the machine was handed over to us. It was in July 2007, and since then, 12 and a half years, was an exciting time. A lot of questions, a lot of answers. Today is, or the following weeks, are a sad time and also a happy time at the same time, because it's sad, of course. Now we have to give it back. But on the other hand, we are a Max Planck Institute. We want to do cutting edge research. So we have to go with the time, and that's why we will get a new machine, and this will be the next step for us to further do research at the top level. And I think this is only possible if we purchase this new uh, machine. So this is also emotionally a very exciting day for us. There are several reasons for that. One is, of course, scientifically, bringing us a new perspective on how we can improve MRI scanning quality and how this will help us to really push the frontiers of science forward. But on the other hand, there's also a personal aspect to that. You don't see that every day. So usually a system like that is used for 10 or more years. And it also opens up the connection to when you later on sit in front of the console and you actually use that magnet to get MRI images. You really have a connection to it and you know how it came in and how it was installed and how much exciting and cutting edge engineering work is actually behind a system like that. Science is not only about facilities. Actually, I would say it's probably least about facilities. It's mainly about brains. It's about the researchers who use and leverage all the technology we have here in the best possible way to push science forward. That's why we are always looking for people who would be excited about working on these systems. So what really excites me about science and makes me very passionate about science is knowing that Whatever we find here in, in fundamental science in our research, for example, using a new 70 MI system like the one that was just installed, is the fact that I know this is the first time that a human has actually observed or discovered that, so that no one else has seen this before.